Today I will give you a brief introduction of the Leica M system. The Leica M is a rangefinder 35mm system that started off as a film camera system and also now has digital cameras. It also has the M8 which is APS-C but nowadays all Leica digital cameras are full frame. All the lenses in the system use the same M bayonet mount and are manual focus. There are prime lenses and a few zoom lenses in the lineup. When choosing a Leica M system, you want to know what frame lines you want because all the cameras don't have all the frame lines. So depending if you shoot 35 millimeter lenses or 50 millimeter lenses or wide angles, you choose a different frame lines on your body. Also a big thing that you have to consider is you want a light meter or you don't as most Leica cameras were sold without light meters. Nowadays you have the Leica MP with a light meter and the Leica MA without a light meter in the film selection. And then you have cameras like the M10, R, which is the latest Leica digital camera. Lens selection is very big, going from very wide angle lenses to some longer lenses, even though they're not recommended for most rangefinder use. Also on the Leica M mount, you can adapt the Leica LTM lenses, which are Leica thread mount with a very simple adapter. And also they are rangefinder coupled, so you can use the rangefinder to focus. So let's talk a little bit more about the M system. You know, what do we have here? Well, we have a great range of models. They may look like similar, but there are a lot of difference, little nuances. Like we have a compact model. We have a, let's say, experimental model. We have the classic and we have the modern classic. Yeah. One of the reasons to shoot something like this would be nowadays maybe street photography. Yeah, it's a very popular style in uh, street photography, mainly due to the rangefinder, you can actually keep your other eyes peeled so you can see the action happening there. So it's not like a reflex camera that you're focused on the happening in the frame. Yeah, one good thing about rangefinders is, apart from the one eye being open, which is what Nuno just mentioned, is the fact that you can see everything in focus through the other window. So it's not like blurred and unblurred. You only have the patch, which is fairly nice and I think less distracting when you're shooting. Like usually you want to have everything in focus. At least I do. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nice. You don't get you know, too confused. And uh, are there any digital options for M cameras? Yes, these are very popular nowadays with the M, M8, M9 and the latest M10 and of course there's few black and white variants to the yeah. monochrome series. Yeah, one also important note is they started being a little thicker at the beginning, but now with the M10... I think they're pretty much the classic size of the M3. Yeah, which is very nice. And you can use pretty much every lens. The wide angles do maybe suffer a little bit because of the Yeah, the extreme, extreme wide angles are so close to, to the sensor, so they have some uh, fringing and aberration. And also these cameras were made in such big numbers that they're pretty much always available. Lenses also, there's a couple manufacturers of lenses. So the M system has, you know, yeah. third party. Voigtlander, uh, we have here a Cos Zeiss uh, lens too, which is very there nice. There was Minolta partnered with Leica. They partnered with the CL. CLE and CL. And what do you think, are these collectible in a way? But I think nowadays, yeah, I think a lot of people, they retain value very well, mm -hmm. which is nice. Like you're buying a camera and you can use it for a year or a couple months, test it out if you want. And then if you don't like it, you can always sell them. The M3 is of course the classic, yeah, classic model. Most wanted model. Yeah, it was the first model that came out. And then we also have some special editions of the M6, like the one we have It's made of here. titanium or platinum. Yeah. Sumi looks lens, which is very nice. So yeah, there's plenty of options. There are, of course, like you mentioned, more collectible cameras that maybe weren't not yeah, so. These are, there's a collector market that just collects these. These are beautiful, you know, designer items in a way. And mm -hmm. price wise, like, do you think there's budget options to shooting Leica M or? Yes, because in a Leica M system, there's also another manufacturers made for a brand for M system, but this is also a premium brand. Yeah. Even nowadays, it's always been a premium brand. Even as a, in 1953, it was a premium brand. So, I think also even staying in the Leica system without going into third party, you have different price variations. Yes. So, like, of course, the M6 is probably one of the most sought out for actual users. The MP also a little, you one of the high ones. They still are made, which is also a very good note. Yeah. Lenses are made. Uh, the MP and the MA and the film 
side of things are still made, but you can start with more inexpensive ones. The Leica M2 is usually one of those, the M4P. Yeah, and the M2 is a great option. You can use 35 mil lenses with it because this is starting from 50 millimeter onwards. So. Yeah, you could use the 35 with goggles. Yeah, it's a special, special lens with it. Yeah, so basically it's always you know, a great option, I think, to shoot. Not the best for maybe portraiture because you're not getting that you know, real view of what you're shooting. There's always a little bit of parallax. Uh, this one only focuses at one meter, the M3. And um, price-wise, like we said, there's a bit of everything. So yeah, let us know. What do you think of the M system? Is it something you really want? Are you into street photography if you're already shooting it? Do you maybe do portraits with the M system? Um, always remember, you can check camerastore.com for you have pretty good variety of Leica yeah. cameras and lenses. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.